Hi, this is Eric Martin, Report Game Geek. I'm here with Matthew Lavin from Blue Orange Games. We're looking at Baobab by yes. Joseph uh, Alloway. And this was originally published, I know, by Pietnik. They had a exactly. version several years ago, but you have now made this look much more like a Baobab tree. And exactly, the, the box will be used like the tree. Okay. And player will play cards to create the foliage. Mm -hmm. But depending what it's on the card, you have to play differently. By example, the monkey have to hang with the ground parts uh, in the border of the foliage. The foliage you play it like you want, no matter. The leopard, you have to make it bounce like this. Oh, I made something fall. I play really well. Okay. So each cut you may fall, uh, you keep it as penalty points for the end of the game. Okay. And so you have different animals, the toucan flies. Oh, I'm All really right, bad at penalties. this game. Yes. <laughs> the bat is like the leopard, but you are blind, so you just have. To. I'm really, really. Bad. All right. Yeah. Good. <laughs> the chameleon, I believe. Copy is the last card played. That's what chameleons always do. Yeah. Oh, so I have to not look. Oh, you're better than me. Oh, I might have looked beforehand. The snake you has to slide, slide between two cards, like this. Uh, the, the bees. You can't place other animals on the bees because. It, they will be hurt, and the flower you can put it on the bees. Okay, coming up, and you go through the entire pile. Yeah, you at the beginning of the game you distribute all the card, and um, when a, it's a player turn, he chooses if he wants to play one, two, or three cards. Okay, without looking at them. Without looking at them. So depending how much risk do you want to take, and the game ends when one player have no more card in spite. Okay. And you count the card that rests and the penalties. Okay. All right. There's an overview of Baobab.